Week of Quinquagesima, Sunday. Search the Scriptures. I rejoice at your word as one who finds much plunder. Psalm 119, verse 162. Dear Redeemed, the psalmist describes the joy of having God's word, the Lord God's doctrine, in the mind and soul as that of someone who has come upon a wealth of plunder on a battlefield or in a conquered city. While some temporal trinket might be expected, a fortune of gold would cause surprise and bring a measure of happiness in an earthly physical sense. Likewise, someone might truly expect to find something of value in God's word, but would rejoice greatly to discover that it contained a spiritual treasure that extended into eternal paradise. Psalm 119 is part of the Old Testament Word of God. What is expected to be found in the Old Testament? One might quickly reply, well, commandments and rules that God expects to be followed, lists of names, long sections that people skip reading, historical items, lots of law with warnings from God and accounts of God sending his wrath and executing his judgment on sin. Jesus calls his final witness to testify concerning who he is, the Lord God Almighty, and what he has come to do, the will of his Father in fulfilling the law and atoning for all sin. The incarnate Son of God refers to the Old Testament writings and tells the Jews who sought to kill him, Search the Scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life. And these are they that bear witness of me. John 5:39. These Jews had the Old Testament, but it remained a closed book to them, and the treasures therein remained hidden from them. They imagined that they had eternal life by keeping the law of God, as well as their own legalistic traditions. They placed their hope on meriting eternal life and salvation by their self-righteousness, by their family tree, and by the doings of good works. They were lost, as are all those who seek to placate God's wrath with man's efforts and to staunch the vent of eternal hell by human intention, word, or deed. Even Christians may view the Old Testament as mostly law with a generous sprinkling of gospel gems, Job's Redeemer, Isaiah's Suffering Servant, Micah's Bethlehem, etc. But, dearly beloved, if you have followed along with these devotions, you have discovered that the Old Testament is a Christ book of extraordinary depth. The Son of God is the agent of all creation, the giver of the law on Sinai, and the scapegoat and the lamb of the days of atonement. He speaks in various places, especially his gospel voice in Psalm 22. Not only does he tell us what he has done to grant the forgiveness of sins, but who he is. Jesus is Jehovah. Listen to him declare this very truth in Isaiah 41.4, 44.5, and 48.12, and Revelation 1.11.17 and 22.13. Compare Psalm 68 verses 17 and 18 with Ephesians 4 verses 8 through 10. The Old Testament was written in order to proclaim the gospel, that the Son of God is the Savior who redeems from sin, death, and the devil, and who grants eternal life and salvation by His grace through faith in Christ. That's the good news for Adam, and it's the very same gospel for you. The New Testament declares the very same message of justification before God by complete remission of sins through Jesus the Christ. Thus, Dearly beloved, search the scriptures, for as you search the scriptures, you will continue to uncover Christ and continue to discover that in the Old and New Testaments you have eternal life, for they do indeed bear witness to Jesus. What is it like to discover the Son of God and the eternal gospel through the pages of the Old Testament? Unexpected, thrilling, wonderful. What is the soul's reaction to hearing Jesus speak from the cross in Psalm 22? Stunning. 
To what could one compare the joy of beholding the Messiah from the days of Melchizedek and knowing that the Christ was doing all this for you? Overwhelming! One might say that it's like finding much plunder. What has been mined from the Old Testament and declared in these Search the Scriptures devotions so far is a good start. There is a long way to go as we follow Jesus from Bethlehem to Bethany and beyond. May this cause you a soulful hunger and thirst for more. Indeed, concerning the Son of God, it is written that he satisfies the longing soul and fills the hungry with goodness. Psalm 107, verse 9. Prayer. O Jesus, joining with the psalmist, I rejoice at your word as one who finds much plunder. What love you have for all people and for me, providing the forgiveness of sins for Eve, for Saul, and for me. Grant me the Holy Spirit gift of perception to behold you as I, according to your invitation, continue to search the scriptures. Also grant me the spirit-wrought gift of sorrow over my sin and forgiveness of the same through faith. Amen. Hymn 117, stanzas 3 and 4. O oh, my, these heavenly pages be my ever-dear delight, and still new beauties may I see, and still increasing light. Divine instructor, gracious Lord, be thou forever near. Teach me to love thy sacred word, and view my Savior there.